Hello! Welcome to DIY is my happy place. Today we are going to have so much fun. I am going to teach you how to make a fun fascinator. Everyone needs one of these. Wouldn't you agree? If you want to see how to make these, let's have some fun. I'm so excited to show you how you can take some snuggly black socks that you pick up from the Dollar Tree with some headbands and a few little tiny supplies, paper plates, solo cups. I do have some poster board for the buckle and some cardstock. And all these things are going to be put together to make a fun hat to wear around when you're just feeling like you want to dress up a little bit. So let me show you how to do this. The first thing we're going to do is cut the bottom out of the solo cup. And you need to get it started with an X-Acto knife. You can actually cut it all the way around with an X-Acto knife or just get it started and use a pair of scissors. Now, when I originally made this hat, I was making it for a gnome. But then I was thinking, you know, if I put that on a headband, it would make a really cute fascinator hat. And once I started thinking, oh, you know what? That would make a cute fascinator hat. I also started thinking, doesn't just have to be St. Patrick's Day. So today I'm going to show you a few different ideas of how you can take the same exact pattern and create different holiday hats. I think that it's time to have a tea party or a Mad Hatter party. This would be really a fun thing to do and have everybody who comes to your tea party with a different type of hat or maybe at the tea party they make the hats I don't know anyway after we get the circle cut out you want to add a little bit of hot glue around the outer edge to put that on the top of the cup I know it looks like it's kind of messy, but it's okay because it's all going to be covered up. Now, I've used a paper plate for this part. You really could just use cardstock. The reason why I started with paper plate because I liked how the rim of it kind of beveled down, and then it looked like the, rim, the brim of a hat to me. But then ultimately, in this particular case, I cut off the outer edge because... It was just a little bit too big for what I was going for. So really cardstock would work here, but I like that this is a little bit thicker than your average cardstock. So I'm still gonna use a paper plate. So I'm gonna cut around that circle for, this is gonna be the brim of my hat. And again, if you wanted to, you could line it with fabric rather than the stocking and have a bigger brim. But the for the sock, it just won't fit all the way around that. Okay. I know this is a little bit confusing, but it's going to make sense in just a minute. Now, we need to be able to see where the, the lid, the cup, will need glued. You don't want to have to use too much glue. So I use a marker just to show, okay, there's my line. That's where I need to add glue. Now, you'll notice that I usually have two different hot glue guns going at one time. One with that has thick glue and one for the finer tip little places. And in fact, it even could be a hot, cold, hot glue gun. So in this case, I wanna use quite a bit of glue and I'm actually gonna just squish it around so it gets attached pretty good. While that's cooling, I'm gonna take some gold poster board that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and one sheet of poster board has lasted for so many crafts. I just love this shimmery gold and I use it for a lot of things. So I've actually started just rolling it so it would be easy to keep handy and not get dinged up so much. And I just tie a rubber band around it. Okay, so this is gonna be my buckle. So I'm just gonna cut it and you would wanna put this on some sort of cardboard or something so it doesn't cut through your table. But I actually have a piece of white foam core on my table so that I can cut into things without damaging the tabletop. 
So then once you get the inside of the rectangle taken out, that is going to be our belt buckle. Our buckle, not a belt. Well, the belt around the hat, I don't know. <laughs> the buckle. <laughs> okay, now you definitely want to cut the little tags off of these socks. I've tried pulling them off and then it kind of runs the socks or tears them a little bit because they're kind of fragile, but oh, they're so soft and shimmery. I love the little shimmer in them. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. They don't have them year round. So whenever I see them, I stock up. I usually <laughs> have about a dozen pairs of these at my house for crafts and different things. And I actually like to add them you know, just a little lotion or something. It makes perfect party favors or little gifts. I mean, I always have these socks on hand. And because of that, I tend to use them a lot with different crafts too. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little bit of a, a slit of a hole on part of this paper, just so that I can put my headband through and it'll just hold it in place until we can glue it. Now I know the paper seems like, oh, that's gonna be too fragile. Well, no, we're gonna put glue all the way around it. This is just to hold it into place until we get it in the position that we want it to go in. Now, if you have some of these headbands, I pick them up, I don't know, I think they're four for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And I'm putting it at an angle, you'll notice, because I want the hat to kind of lean off to the side of the head because it's a fascinator. <laughs> now, once I have it in the place that I like, I'm gonna be very generous with my glue. I'm gonna put it all around, in, out, up, down, and all around. And then I will set it aside and let it completely cool because we want that to be secure so the headband won't pop off. And now I'm going to go ahead and make an embellishment. Now, I know that this, in this case, I'm going to make a St. Patrick's Day fascinator. And I love the thought of having these to give out to different friends and family for a little St. Patrick's Day prize, I guess. And then they can pop it on their head so that they can wear their green for the day and not have to overcommit on what they're going to do for their St. Patrick's Day dress up. Now, all you have to do is make little hearts with a pipe cleaner, and you just keep on making one heart and then another heart and you until you have a four-leaf clover or a three-leaf clover or whatever works, a clover <laughs> made with pipe cleaners. And this is going to be a little embellishment on the out, outer part of the hat when it gets dried. And I like different embellishments. You can pick up different things. One thing that I've used over different times um, you can get necklaces at the Dollar Tree that have little clovers on them and you just cut the little beads off and you have these cute little a uh, lot of embellishments for one necklace or just picking up little trinkety things depending on what y your holiday is or what you're trying to go for works great or you can find things that you already have around your house and add those and I'll show you that in just a minute. But first of all, I want I always like to make more than one at once because you got to wait for the glue to dry before you can move on anyway. So, why not just make a few at a time? So that's what I do. I think I have about mm, seven of the headbands. So, and like I say, I have plenty of socks. <laughs> so, I'll go ahead and make a few. Now, what you do is you just put the sock right over the cup and right over the plate and just wrap it around. And then we're gonna tuck up any excess stocking and push it right into that hole. And we'll glue that down in just a minute. But look at how fast and easy and fun this hat can be. Now I take some ribbon, I always keep ribbon. If it comes on a basket, if it, what, however I get ribbon, I keep it stockpile it because I can always find a way to use it. So this is just a piece of green ribbon. I think it came on a fruit basket and it had a bunch of ribbon and I've done so many things with it. So I, it was funny, I, when I did a live a couple of weeks ago, somebody said, oh, you're a scavenger, that's what you do. And I said, I think I am, that's exactly right. I just scavenge all the things and I create out of what some people might think of as trash. But I love trash to treasure, I suppose. 
So we're just going to add a little bit of glue to dollop it around. And yes, I don't have my little rubber fingers on. I need to get that on so I don't burn my hand. And the idea is to not get it onto the ribbon, which I did in that case. So, oops, sometimes you get little whoopsies. And so, hmm, I can do a couple of things. I can add some beads around it, put an embellishment on it. There's a lot of different things you can do. I'll decide, but maybe I'll just put my buckle right over the seam itself so that I won't have to look at the glue that I smeared onto my ribbon. <laughs> I always just think, you know, you can you can make it work. And then I'll just put my little embellishment. So this is just a fun St. Patrick's Day hat that's so easy to do. But it, you know, it could go for anybody. The nice thing about these little headbands is you get them for a good deal. Now, if you have a hard time keeping them on your head, you can get the little, you know, bobby pins or whatever and kind of bobby pin them into your hair. So... Now, I have a few others that I had gone ahead and started, all with the same idea, and I'm going to show you some different styles doing the same idea. So if I use a red sock, it'll completely change the look of our fascinator. But it's still the same process. Again, so fast, so easy. Go grab these socks while you can. I have looked around at different places to see if I could get them when it was off season. And they're just so much more expensive in a store. Even like Walmart, they're just so much more expensive. So I definitely recommend grabbing them while you can at the Dollar Tree. I like to do things in phases once I figure out what I'm doing. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put the sock of the red, and then I'm going onto my blue, just kind of lining them, tucking it in, getting it ready, and then I'll, I'll ribbon them up and embellish them. And when it comes to embellishing, it's great if you think outside the box. Like I will literally walk up and down the aisles of a store or even look at things in my house and think, now, am I really going to use that for this or could it be used for that? I'll explain that better in just a minute when you see what I'm going to use for my embellishments. But first of all, let me show you another way that we can do these same type of hats if you can't get the socks. And that is by using a scarf. I love fluffy, wonderful scarves. This is a scarf I got from the Dollar Tree. And I've used it for hair for a gnome. And, oh, I just, it, I, I don't know. I love it so much. It's very flexible and bendable. So it can be used as well. And it will make such a fun, fluffy, furry looking fascinator. So in this particular case, because it's so stretchable, it's easy to line my hat with it. Now some fabrics might be a little trickier to get around, but in this case, it's just perfect. So I'm just going to tuck it into my little tiny hole. And this one I had actually cut pretty small. So I have to kind of push and pull to get it all tucked in there because I started off with such a tiny little hole, but it still is going to work just fine. And once I get it all in there, then I'll reinforce it with my hot glue. Okay, here's my blue one with its polka dot ribbon. And I'm going to go ahead and just add a, an artificial flower to this one. That's just so easy. You don't even have to think twice about that. Just grab a flower, glue it on, I will say that as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, you know, it really could use a little bit more glam. I know there's the sparkly part of the sock itself and the flower. It's really pretty, but I'm going to go ahead and get a gem to put right into the center of the flower to jazz that up. And... These happen to be just the little sticker gems that I got off a sheet from Walmart. Got those in Walmart. But you can use anything you want. Now, as far as ways that you can help glam things up, do you have jewelry that you don't really use? Costume jewelry? Different types of things like that? Or maybe there's a knob. Or maybe there's something that comes off of a 
some sort of packaging that you could spray paint and turn into, you know, I always look at everything differently and think now if that was gold would it look like this or whatever and that's a fun way to add embellishments then once you've made all these fancy hats or fascinators as it may be what are you going to do with them i was thinking this would be fun to give to anybody and everybody just put them in a gift bag and give a little card and leave it at somebody's doorstep and just say, I was thinking of you today and I just thought you needed a little pick-me-up. It's so great because so many people are just so sad and just a little something can make such a difference. And sometimes you don't know what to say or what to do to kind of lift somebody's spirits for the day. And I just think, what could lift somebody's spirits more than a cute little fascinator hat? <laughs> I think this is just perfect. The best part is each one can be individualized based on personality and styles. I like to use all different things. And I do have different types of ribbon here that I can use. And I guess I just kind of lean towards things that are sparkly once in a while. A little glitter, a little sparkle goes a long way. Now I have some red mesh that I thought would make a fun little flower. It's the really fragile, fine kind. There's like a thick, stiff kind that you get from the Dollar Tree or this really fine kind. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap that around three or four fingers a whole bunch of times. I don't know how many that is, <laughs> a few times. And then I'll just um, put a pipe cleaner around it and trim it around so that it can become a little flower and it'll be a flower embellishment. Now all you got to do is wrap. Now you can see that there's a hole down the center from where I was looping it but I'm going to go ahead and just fold it in half and add my pipe cleaner around it and then I'll trim out the edge so, so that it'll fray out to be a little bit of a puffball looking, I don't know if it's a flower, I just keep on saying embellishment, but you know, just add on for my hat. Sometimes how I come up with the ideas is I literally look at what's in my craft closet and say, okay, that's the right color and that would match. How can I turn that into something that I can use in this particular project? <laughs> I don't know. I Sometimes I have things that I haven't used for a while and I'm like, I'm not going to waste that. So... That's how this puffball idea came into being. So, yeah, that's kind of how my brain works. I love to hear how your brain works. Tell me, what do you do? Do you ever get craft supplies that you don't ever use? And do you ever think, hmm, what can I do with this? Comment below if you have a craft supply item that you've never figured out how to use it. I do read your comments and I absolutely love the interaction that we get, especially during my live. That was a blast. I say it was a blast. Now it was, but during the time it really did stress me out because I'd never done anything like that before. Now that a couple of weeks have passed, I'm just so thrilled with how many people have commented and where everybody has been from. It was so exciting, especially when I did my first live two weeks ago with my dear hubby, and it was a lot of fun. It was kind of funny because he's never made a gnome. He's never watched me make a gnome. He's never watched any of my videos. So I thought it would be fun to have him come on and actually make a gnome when he knows nothing about any of this kind of crafting things. And so I have to say it was actually really fun and he has committed that he will do another live with me. So next Thursday, we're gonna do another live. So stay tuned and if you want to see it, you might want to subscribe now and ring the bell to all, then you'll be notified when we have our next live. I'm hoping to be a little more organized than I was last time and actually have a premiere which will say we're going live in two hours and it'll have a countdown and everything. So hopefully I can figure out how to do that. I'm kind of new at this, <laughs> but I'm going to give it a try. And 
so yeah, join us for our live a week from tomorrow. Now I've got some ribbon. This is actually left over from Christmas and it's just kind of like what you would see on the top of a bow. It's the flimsy kind of ribbon, but it's so shiny. So I thought, you know, that will make a nice band around the hat. And I actually am going plan to use some of my little stickers around that. But look how shiny that is. I love shiny and sparkly, I guess. <laughs> Once I have my shiny red ribbon down, I'm going to take some of these sticker pearl things and wrap them around. Now, you don't want to put these directly on the stocking. You need a ribbon or something between them because they lose their stickum on the socks and they kind of start sagging and falling off. It looks so much better if it's on that shiny red ribbon. And you can get these stickers in the Crafter's Corner section at Dollar Tree. These I also keep on hand all the time and I get them in silver, white, blue, gold. I don't know, they come in a few different colors. I've even been known to spray paint them. <laughs> if I know I want them to be just one specific color. And then, once again, we're just going to find an embellishment. So this is just a sparkly, puffy heart. As I'm attaching it, all of a sudden I'm looking at my headband that I put on, which was blue in color, and thinking, oh, I wish I wouldn't have put blue on this cute red head headband. You know, use the blue headband. But have no fear that can always be changed as well. The one thing that I do is if I find that I don't like how I did it to begin with, then there's nothing that a nice black permanent marker can't fix. <laughs> so I'll just go along and color that part in. Now, remember when I talked about earlier how you can find embellishments in the oddest places? This was actually a ring that I had Never once have I worn that ring, so I thought, you know what, it's ready to be on my headband. So I just glued the ring right into my puffy red fuzzy puff ball, and that was just the ticket. That's exactly what I needed to finish off this hat. Now, when you're storing the hats, you can store them upside down, and I want to just show you how they all turned out, and I absolutely love them. Now remember, my plan is to give them all away. I'm going to just put them in a fun little bag, add a card, and go door knocking. <laughs> Here's my blue one. And then we have the hat that inspired the whole thing to begin with, which is my St. Patrick's Day hat, which I made a few of these because I plan on giving them out right away. And I love them. But my favorite hat has to be this pink one. I've changed it a few times, but I ended up using fabric flowers that I've made. I, I have done a tutorial about how to, you burn the fabric to turn them into the little flowers. And so if I will put a link below if you're interested in learning how to burn your own flowers. And once I figured out what worked for the St. Patrick's Day, fastener. I figured it. why reinvent the wheel? And I just made a few of them so I can give them out to whoever happens to be on my mind that day. And then of course, I'm absolutely going to need a Valentine's Day hat with its jewel border stickers. <laughs> oh yes, and a couple of little hearts. And I added black on the outer edge of the blue headband. Now for this hat, I had an old pair of green nylons that I have never once worn or used that I reconfigured for this hat. And then finally, last but not least, the last beautiful, fantastic, wonderful St. Patrick's Day Fascinator. There you have it. <laughs> the fantastic fascinator DIY. Now here is my challenge to you. Make six of these and give away five. Don't forget to keep one for yourself because you never know when you're going to need one. <laughs> Cheer up somebody's day by giving them something fun and I will see you again soon. 
See ya.